Imagine a Christmas tree that not only dazzles the eye, but also tempts the taste buds. Welcome to the world of culinary delight, where we're crafting the perfect Christmas tree cake. Start with 200 grams of self-raising flour, 150 grams of butter, and 150 grams of sugar. Whisk two eggs and fold them into your mix. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour your batter into a Christmas tree mold and bake for 25 minutes. For the frosting, blend 200 grams of icing sugar with 100 grams of butter. Add a dash of green food coloring. Once your cake is cooled, spread your frosting evenly. Sprinkle on some edible glitter for that festive sparkle and voila, your Christmas tree cake is ready to steal the show. Remember, the key to a perfect cake is patience and love. Enjoy the magic of baking this festive season. Crisp winter air, twinkling lights, and the sweet scent of Christmas pancakes. Welcome to a delightful 60 seconds of culinary magic. Picture warm, fluffy pancakes with a festive twist. Let's dive in. First, gather your ingredients. Two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking powder. Stir it up. Next, crack in two large eggs, pour in one and a half cups of milk, and add a splash of vanilla extract. Whisk until smooth. Now it's time to bring the Christmas magic. Add a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Stir well. Heat your pan to medium high. That's around 190 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. Pour in a quarter cup of batter for each pancake. Cook until golden brown, flip, and repeat. Serve with a dusting of powdered sugar and a drizzle of maple syrup. Voila, you've got Christmas in a pancake. Enjoy this holiday treat and keep the festive spirit alive. Crisp, light, and festive. Meet the Christmas pavlova, a meringue-based dessert with a crisp crust and soft light inside. First, preheat your oven to 120 degrees Celsius. That's 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Whip up four egg whites until stiff, then gradually add one cup of sugar whisking until glossy. Stir in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a teaspoon of white vinegar, and a dash of cornstarch. Spoon onto a baking sheet, shaping it into a festive wreath. Bake for one hour and then let it cool completely. For the topping, whip 200 milliliters of heavy cream until soft peaks form. Generously smother your cooled pavlova with the cream and crown it with an array of vibrant berries and a dusting of icing sugar. Voila, your Christmas pavlova is ready. This dessert is sure to be a showstopper at your holiday feast. Remember, a perfect pavlova is all about patience. Happy baking. Welcome to a minute of magic in the kitchen. It's time for a classic, the gingerbread man. First, gather all spice, ginger, cinnamon, brown sugar, molasses, butter, and an egg. Combine the spices, sugar and butter, then mix in the egg and molasses. Next, in another bowl, sift together three and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Slowly add this to your spicy mixture. Once your dough is ready, chill it for at least three hours. Then, roll it out to a quarter inch thickness and cut out your little men. Bake at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight to 10 minutes. Cool, decorate, and voila. You've got your gingerbread men. Remember, it's not just a recipe, it's a holiday tradition. Until next time. Crisp autumn air, warm spices, the unmistakable aroma of fresh baked cinnamon rolls. A simple yet divine recipe that's easier than you think. Start by combining two cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, and a pinch of salt. In a separate bowl, mix half a cup of warm milk. That's about 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. One teaspoon of dry yeast, and let it sit for five minutes. Add the milk mixture to the flour, knead until smooth. Let it rise in a warm place for an hour. Meanwhile, mix half a cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon for the filling. Roll out the dough, spread the filling, roll it up, and slice into pieces. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Voila! Your kitchen is now a haven of cinnamon goodness. If you've enjoyed this bite-sized recipe, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow home bakers. Happy baking! Discover the magic of the Yule Log Cake, a Christmas classic. Originating from France, this delightful dessert, also known as Bouche de Noël, is a must-try. Begin with a sponge cake. Whisk together six eggs, one cup of granulated sugar, and a dash of vanilla. Sift in one cup of flour and a pinch of salt. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius, or 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for 12 to 15 minutes. While it cools, prepare the filling. Whip two cups of heavy cream and half a cup of powdered sugar until stiff peaks form. 
Spread this over the cooled cake, then roll it up. Next, the chocolate ganache. Heat one cup of heavy cream and pour it over two cups of chopped dark chocolate. Stir until smooth. Coat your rolled cake with this ganache, creating bark-like textures. There you have it, a Yule log cake that's not just a treat to your taste buds, but a sight to behold. Merry baking. Crisp, golden, and succulent, the perfect Christmas turkey isn't a myth. Follow these steps for a festive showstopper. First, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Select a fresh, free-range turkey for the best flavor. Pat it dry and season generously with salt, pepper, and your favorite herbs. Slide softened butter under the skin for a richer taste and juicier meat. Next, stuff the cavity with aromatics like onion, garlic, and lemon. Now, it's time for the oven. Roast for about 20 minutes per kilogram or 9 minutes per pound, basting occasionally. Finally, let your turkey rest for 30 minutes before carving. Voila! You're now the maestro of Christmas turkey. May your holidays be filled with joy and delicious food. Picture this. A cozy winter's day, the scent of cinnamon and ginger wafting through the air. Now imagine, this is Taylor Swift's favorite Christmas dessert recipe, gingerbread cookies. Start with two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a dash of salt. Add in one tablespoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of ground cloves. In a separate bowl, cream together half a cup of butter, a third cup of dark molasses, and a quarter cup of packed light brown sugar. Stir in one large egg, then gradually mix in the dry ingredients. Chill the dough for at least two hours, roll it out, and cut into your favorite festive shapes. Bake at 190 degrees Celsius, that's 375 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 8 to 10 minutes. There you have it, Taylor Swift's favorite Christmas gingerbread cookies. Perfect for a cozy holiday season. Loop this short for a quick recall whenever you're set to bake. Happy baking! Imagine a holiday dessert that's as fun to build as it is to eat. Welcome to the world of Lego Christmas cake, where sweet flavors meet playful imagination. Start with 200 grams of self-raising flour, 150 grams of softened butter, and 150 grams of caster sugar. Mix them together until creamy. Add three large eggs, one at a time, blending well after each addition. Heat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 356 Fahrenheit. Pour the batter into a Lego brick-shaped silicone mold and bake for 25 minutes or until golden brown. Once cooled, cover with vibrant colored icing and stack like Lego bricks. Add your favorite festive decorations and voila! A Lego Christmas cake that's a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. This holiday season, add a twist of fun to your traditional fare. Remember, the only limit is your culinary creativity. Stay playful, stay sweet, and keep building those delicious memories. Feeling festive? Picture this, a golden, savory potato dish that's a hit at the holiday table. Welcome to a quick recipe for Christmas potatoes. Start by preheating your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Grab some potatoes, peel them, and slice into thin circles. Toss them in a mix of olive oil, minced garlic, rosemary, salt, and pepper. Layer them neatly in a baking dish and sprinkle generously with Parmesan cheese. Slide your dish into the preheated oven and bake for about an hour until they're golden and crispy. Voila! A heavenly potato dish that's sure to steal the spotlight this Christmas. Stay tuned for more quick and delightful recipes. Until next time, keep your taste buds curious and your aprons ready. Welcome to the magic of gingerbread houses. Start by preheating your oven to 160 degrees or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Combine flour, ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, nutmeg, and salt. In a separate bowl, blend butter, brown sugar, and molasses. Mix the two and voila, your dough is ready. Roll it out, cut out your house shapes and bake for about 15 minutes. While it cools, whip up royal icing. It's your edible glue. Assemble your house, get creative with candies for decoration. There you have it. A delicious, festive gingerbread house. Remember, it's not just about the final product, but the fun and memories made in the process. Happy baking! Cake lovers, Christmas is around the corner. Let's spice it up with a scrumptious Christmas cake. Start by preheating your oven to 170 degrees Celsius or 338 degrees Fahrenheit. Mix two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda. Add in the magic, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Pour in a cup of buttermilk, half a cup of vegetable oil, 
and two large eggs. Don't forget a cup of hot water to make your batter smooth. Slide it into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Let it cool, then top it with your favorite frosting and sprinkle some Christmas cheer with colorful edible decorations. There you have it, a perfect Christmas cake. Try this recipe and make your holidays even sweeter.